This is my book by Mick Inkpen. Stop! Stop! said the book mouse. But before anyone could stop him, the snapdragon swooped down, bit off the K and part of the B of book. This is my poo was a very naughty thing to do. You've got to do something, said the clockwork penguin. He's getting worse. The book mouse set the missing part of the bee back in place and looked down at the new word. Oh, don't worry, he said. I have a plan. What I need is lots of those. He was pointing at the O's. I know where you can get O's, said the blink owl mysteriously. You can get them where the ghosts of the woolly wolves live in the middle of Moonwood. But you have to be very brave and you have to hurry. It's happening soon, very soon. Look for the moon over the Moonwood. You've got plenty of O's, said the blue bear. Can we have some of those? But the blink owl had flown away. That night, under a low moon, they crept into Moonwood and waited. And before long, just as the blink owl had said, the O's began to arrive. Ooh, they went, whispering quietly through the trees. Ooh. The O's got louder. Ooh. And then louder still, still, wailing and howling through the trees. Ooh. We don't like this, said the little horse. And everyone galloped out of the moonwood, leaving the book mouse all alone. The book mouse crept further into the wood. You don't frighten me, he cried. Is that the best you can do? The moonwood fell silent. And then suddenly, louder than any sound that had ever been heard in the moonwood before, there came the most awful rumbling. Ooh. Quick as a flash, the book mouse grabbed all of the O's and ran as fast as he could out of the moonwood. Give us back our O's, cried the ghosts of the woolly wolves. And because he was a very considerate little mouse, the book mouse tossed the smallest one back at them. Ooh, said the ghosts of the woolly wolves. Well, that was all they could say. On Tuesday, the book mouse set everyone in their places and went to find the snapdragon. He was having his tea. Now, this is your last warning, snapdragon, said the book mouse. The words don't make any sense if you keep eating the letters. It's got to stop. The snapdragon bit a chunk out of the pea. I always eat my peas, he giggled. Then he rose high into the air, sucking up all the little dots over the eyes and blowing them straight at the book mouse. You can't tell me what to do. The book mouse scampered away as fast as he could with the snapdragon snapping at his little pink tail. As soon as he reached the edge of the page, he squeaked loudly. Squeak, squeak, squeak. And when they heard the book mouse squeak, everyone who lived at the edge of Moonwood took a deep breath and shouted. Perhaps it'd be better if you guys joined in too. You ready? Boo! 
the snapdragon went spinning through the air and bounced off the moon. He made a terrible mess. Dragon scales and O's everywhere. He fell back down to earth. And there he lay, in the middle, feeling very sorry for himself. I won't do it again, he sniffed. The book mouse made the snapdragon return the O's to the ghosts of the woolly wolves in the moonwood. Thank you. And because he was really sorry and not just pretending, the snapdragon brought back the K he had stolen and put it back where it belonged. B -u -k book. Right at the end of the book. The end. <laughs>